Hello fans, welcome to Suzy Farms. Here we focus on agriculture, animal husbandry, aquaculture, and agribusiness, where we bring research to practice. Our products are purely organic, from the farm to the table, so we can eat healthy food. If you are new here, like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and hit on the notification bell. Permit us to serve you with some cola nut and palm wine, so you can relax while watching. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Civilization began with agriculture. And though humanity has changed significantly, agriculture still remains very important in sustaining life and building nations. Come, follow us. Let's check out the importance of agriculture. The world depends on agriculture because it is the main source of raw materials. Many raw materials like cotton, sugar, wood, or palm oil come from agriculture. These materials are essential to major industries in many ways people aren't even aware of, such as the manufacturing of pharmaceuticals, diesel fuels, plastic, and more. In fact, raw materials are so important in production that the economic health of a country strongly depends on how many raw material it possesses. Agriculture is also important to international trade. Raw materials from agriculture make up a huge portion of international trade. Countries with plenty of raw materials export them and trade for materials they don't have. If a country's agriculture suffers for some reason, prices can go up and it disrupts the flow of trade. Speaking of trade, developing countries still get most of their national income from agricultural export. Why developed countries don't depend on agriculture as such as they used to, their economies would definitely take a hit if all exports suddenly stopped. The agricultural industry is still one of the biggest source of employment and is actually booming in many places. Whether it's working as a farmer, harvester, technician for farm equipment, or scientist, there are plenty of jobs available in this field. In developing countries, agricultural jobs help reduce high rates of unemployment. When it comes to reducing poverty, evidence has shown that focusing on agriculture is significantly more effective than investing in other areas. Economic development is tied to a country's agricultural sector. When trade, national revenue, and employment are combined in a positive way, a country enjoys reduced poverty and economic growth. Smart agriculture quickly results in benefits. Focusing on it is one of the best ways to speed up development and improve a country's standing in the world. Agriculture possesses the power to harm or heal the earth. When farmers prioritize biodiversity on their land, it benefits the earth. Having more biodiversity results in healthier soil, less erosion, better water conservation, and healthier pollinators like bees. This is all good news for the environment as a whole, making agriculture an important part of the circle of life. Agriculture is the main source of the world food supply. No matter where and what you are eating, the ingredient in your meal comes from somewhere. When the agricultural sectors go down, food insecurity and severe malnutrition set in. When the agriculture sector is booming, fewer people go hungry. Agriculture is also an important part of a country's infrastructure as it impacts conflict and war. 
Throughout history, the need for land to grow food fueled many conflicts. War can also break down the agricultural sector, affecting people for decades to come. Agriculture also drives innovation in technology. Healthy agriculture is so essential to a country's well-being, and there are now many existing innovations in agricultural technology. Scientists and farmers have been figuring out ways to increase crop productivity, use less water for irrigation, and reduce negative impact on the environment. Agribusiness has now become one of the most fascinating and productive fields to work in. All roads now lead to agriculture. The state of agriculture reflects our future. When it comes to pollution and climate change, the environment and agriculture suffer the most. If effective changes are not made, Climate change impact on agriculture will decimate a country's economy and eventually wipe out the food supply. We have to look at agriculture to understand where humanity is going to end up. The importance of agriculture cannot be overemphasized. Let's listen from an expert in the field. Every creature that God created, he put in the creation something for that creature to eat to continue its life, the preservation of life, the maintenance of life, the reproduction of life. So farming then and the farmer from the eyes of God is the foundation of everything. People think you have to have a great education to become wealthy. Not so. We were recently in Belize in Central America and we visited the Mennonite Christian community there. They owned over 100,000 acres of land. Though they migrated from southern Mexico into Belize and started with 20 acres of land, I asked them, what is their degree of education? And they kind of smiled and said, they, they go as far as the eighth grade. But they're feeding half of the population of Belize. They know how to farm. And with a smile, they said, we know how to count money. And they told us that they are quite wealthy because everyone needs to eat. So for our open enemy to kill our love for the land and kill our desire for ownership of land and to kill our desire to be a farmer, knowing that farming is one of the most dignified of all professions that gives dignity and worth to other professions. To deprive us of this knowledge is absolute wickedness. And this is why the scriptures say, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Wherever I have gone, among our young people, in agricultural and mechanical land-grant colleges, when I asked how many of you are studying agriculture, I was shocked. There's only a very, very few who would raise their hand to say they're studying farming and agriculture. The youth are just not interested in studying farming and agriculture. They just don't see the value of that. Did you know that the average age of farmers throughout the world is such 
that it needs to be studied. The average farmer in Africa is 60 years old. In USA, 58 years. In Japan, 66 years. In Australia, 58 years of age. And in the Caribbean, 62 years of age. The most striking feature is that although 58.7% of blacks in the cities are under 35 years of age, only 4% of black farmers are under 35. On the other hand, 25% of black farmers are over 70 years of age, while only 5.5% of the black non-farm population is over 70. So when the older black farmers die off, there is no one to fill the gap. Several factors continue to influence the ability in having an ample supply of well-trained, highly qualified teachers of agriculture vital to sustain and grow agricultural education across the country. There's just not enough qualified teachers to teach agriculture. And because students are going away from it, then these courses are very weak even when they are offered. These are just a few of the alarming facts of the teacher shortage facing agricultural education. If you don't have a teacher, you can't produce a student. And if you don't have students taking agriculture, you don't need an agriculture teacher. So what does this tell us? We're out of the farming business. We are completely dependent on somebody else to feed us. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, no people can be free with their mouth in the kitchen of another, particularly in the kitchen of our former slave masters and their children. As long as we do not own land, we're not going to be a productive people. We will continue to be a consumer nation. And as long as we are not respecting the profession of farming and the cultivation of land and producing of quality food, then our life, our health, our well-being is in the hands of our former slave masters and their children. And you know, they don't know what to do with us. We've become a problem. Nearly 50 million of us, they won't be able to provide jobs for us. So many white scientists are thinking, what can we do with the Negroes? So after listening to all this, we need to ask ourselves these questions. What are we doing to mitigate and adapt to climate change threats? What will our food supply look like? The state of agriculture is a good little test of what we can expect the future to look like. So, let's all start planting trees to halt climate change threats and heal the earth. Please kindly like, comment, subscribe, and hit on the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload a new video like this.